Saturday morning flats him. It's not morning, you drongo. It's evening. Good day, good evening, good night, welcome to Positive Rate. Hope you are all doing well on this fine Saturday. <clears throat> it's really warming up here. Uh, pleasantly, actually. I think uh, we had a couple days... Um... How are you doing, guys? Uh, we had a couple days where it was upwards of 18 degrees in Scotland, which is really, really good. Mind you, May is usually a pretty good month in Scotland, so... Um... Big, big shout out to everybody on the chat. I can see Jamie there. How are you doing, Jamie? Great to see you, Dan. And Bubba Von Braun. Always great to see you, mate. Uh, Nighthawk is on the tarmac. I would uh, argue he'll probably drop a line into the chat at some point. <laughs> um, no overlay loaded topper. Oh, thank you, Dan. Bit of housekeeping there. Let's get that sorted out. I uh, don't know why that's not come on, actually. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, oh, I know why. See if that makes a difference. Hang on. There we go. 
all fixed. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for pointing that out. Nighthawk says, hi, everyone. How you doing, Nighthawk? Great to see you. Um, anyway, uh, we got a bit of housekeeping to do before I get started. Uh, we've had a unexpected departure of a team member. Uh, nothing, nothing terrible. Nothing's happened to him, but um, uh, unfortunately, uh, Nick, our, pro our lead producer, has had to step away from the team uh, for a period of time. Where we're not quite sure yet uh, if this is uh, permanent or if he might return, but um, I just wanted to give a shout out to Nick because uh, Nick has been with us since the very beginning of Positive Rate and he is a good friend and a dear friend. Uh, he really helped shape Positive Rate into what it is today. And I'm um, just going to see if I can find a, a quick video here for you. Hang on. Uh, and I, uh, I was fortunate enough also to have met him um, at our Manchester meetup with uh, the Easy, Easy Jet crew. And um, I'll just uh, quickly bring this up to sex. So um, what, I, what I'd like, uh, there, there he is there. Uh, oh, sorry, bring him on. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Nick right there. Uh, fantastic guy. This is Nick here. Of course, that's our, our very own Dan as well. <laughs> <laughs> no looks, um, but absolutely fantastic guy. He, uh, I don't know where we would have been today without him. Uh, he's really, really helped us uh, shape positive rate, and uh, it, it is. Um, uh, I'm very some somewhat saddened by his departure, but uh, I know he has his reasons. Uh, I expect a lot of it is work pressures and work related and busy schedule and it does take a lot of effort you know to um to do things uh help we've got a team of four and everyone is busy there's there's a lot that contributes into what we produce uh, and uh, i i myself i'm just one person in the mix uh i'm doing the presenting but you know there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes uh for a positive rate to happen and nick has been uh the key person behind a lot of that so um, you know, just put put some applause in the chat for me. Uh, we just want to. Uh, I just again want to thank Nick for uh, all the the effort and uh, dedication he's he's spent with the team since the very beginning of Positive Rate. Um, we couldn't have done it without him. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Um, Dan says honestly, Nick is one of the best guys on here I ever met. Love the banter and uh, I have with him to top Loki. Yeah, he absolutely is. He, he, he totally, totally is. Um, you know, it's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, best wishes heading Nick's way from down under, says Bubba. Uh, that was great. Um, oh, yeah, that was you did, yeah. <laughs> uh, good luck, Nick, says Jamie. Yeah, of course, we, we wish him well. And, uh, you know, um, ne never say never. Uh, he may may decide to return a positive rate at some point. But um, for the time being, anyway, he, he has stepped away from the team. Um, so, you know, on that, I have to acknowledge uh, the, the massive role that he's played in the team and, and getting us to where we are. Um, he, he's... Uh, He's also one of the few guys that can control my ego. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, and I know that that that's been uh, at times a bit contentious and stressful for him. So uh, you know, for for all the times that um, that I upset you, Nick, I do apologize. But I I think um, uh, ultimately uh, he Nick is one of the guys in my life that I have so much respect for. Uh, we do see eye to eye on a great many things and we do think alike on a lot of things as well and, and uh, it's just been such a wonderful experience to work have, have worked with him all this time sorry sorry I'm starting to cry now so uh, yeah Nick I, I uh, yeah. Uh, we wish you all the best mate and thank you for everything that you've done for us um, and of course Nighthawk saying thanks for all your help Nick yeah yeah I'm actually getting a bit emotional though Anyway, uh, right. We got we got a flight to do. We got two great airports to uh, to show you today, and uh, this is this is one of them. This is uh, Canberra. It is stunning, guys. Uh, I can see Jamie and Nighthawk on the carp uh, the tarmac today as well. Nighthawk's oh, he's back in the, the headwinds. Uh, but look at this airport. I mean, it is absolutely absolutely stunning. It is really really something. Um, some lovely modeling of the interior here. 
Uh, oh, we also if he's passed away. No, 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 he's not. He's he's fine, guys. He's he's completely fine. He's just uh, uh, I think he's got higher. Pri I, I, probably safest to say he's got higher priorities to focus on right now, and unfortunately, positive rate can no longer be one of those. So. Um, which is totally understandable and, and uh, yeah, we wish him the best. But look at this airport. I mean, the detail on this guy is just absolutely stunning. Um, there's a lovely cargo area at the back too. So if you guys, uh, if anybody likes to do cargo uh, departures, there's there's an awesome, awesome cargo area from Canberra. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a night shot uh, too. Let's um, put the lights out here. Uh, this is, of course, available from Orbix, uh, Dan, if you'd be so kind. Um, and look, at, uh, it just really comes to life. But I look inside. I look at this. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this gets uh, my personal applause. Absolutely fantastic uh, bit of scenery available from Orbix. This is Canberra. Um, which the IKO code, I think it's uh, Yankee Sierra uh, Charlie Bravo, but it is it's just an absolutely fantastic bit of scenery, really, really something. So, if you like flying in Australia, uh, Canberra is a, a, a pretty awesome location as well. Uh, there's uh, some detail about the, the airport, the background, of the airport in the show notes, uh, courtesy of, of Nick. And uh, yeah, do check it out, it, it is really, really something. And right, we're just gonna rotate that back to you approximate time go and um, right okay so uh departure today actually flight 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 have you heard the pa uh yes i have and that's actually we're going to bring that up in the news today uh jamie so uh thanks for that dan as well um uh, right let me just bring up the flight plan today. So, it is a pretty much a flight along the uh, the east coast of Australia, which is really, really cool. Taking off from Canberra, we are going to be using the Avbag 3 departure. That uh, is basically 3-5 takeoff today, guys. Uh, intercepting Vicky up to Avbag and then uh, continuing on route. Um, from there, we will fly a northeast-north direction, uh, eventually cutting northeast across to uh, towards uh, Gold Coast Airport, I believe this is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and this will be the Bernie 3A arrival, which takes out well, takes us out over the water. We should get some good views of. Uh, all the lovely buildings and everything and we come into uh, a, sorry, a, a left hand circuit uh, into runway 14 today guys 14 we've been assigned uh, assuming the weather still stays the same and this will be an ILS approach for us as well uh, so leveling off at uh, platform 2500 at Airprod and then uh, descending approximately eight miles out from the airport into uh, Gold Coast and that's how it's going to roll today so yeah it should be pretty good now uh departing we will be going uh i'm parked up here somewhere i think yeah uh so we will, i'll be uh, pushing back um nose to the uh left and then uh, just intercepting bravo taxiway uh right down to the displaced threshold uh on papa lining up and we got a funny i got a climb to d rate takeoff today based on the weather conditions so that's that's the first time i've actually had that assigned from our uh from the takeoff calculator which is really neat uh jamie says nighthawk shows as a 2e787 for you does it even though it's a 339 yeah yeah if you um well if you get the headwinds 330 jamie uh we also have the livery available in our discord liveries uh channel uh, and you'll see, uh, you'll see, uh, uh, Nighthawk for all, for all his glory in the headwinds, um, livery. So there you go. Um, right. What was I doing? I gotta go back to normal ops here. Okay. All right. So, uh, if you guys want to get everything going here, I will switch on the beacon. Actually first, let's get seatbelts on.
Oop, wrong one. And collision can go on. Ooh, we'll get rid of that jetway as well. Now the jetways, even the jetways on this look really awesome. Um, right, set of brakes. Let's see if that jetway pulls away for us. There it goes. Look at the detail. I love the glass on this as well. Um, it's really, really highly detailed airport. Right. So first thing we're going to do, just make sure our chocks are clear. Go into menu, FS actions. Uh, start the AP. And we should hear those packs uh, spool in. Ooh, some noises might help as well. Uh, never heard Australian GSX guy before. <laughs> I don't have GSX, unfortunately, but... Um, okay, see the AP starting to spool there. Uh, as soon as that comes online, we should hear bleed air start flying in through the uh, air conditioning, so that's my indication that everything's up and running. Uh, Q&H today is 1021. We'll just do a double check on that, actually. Yeah, still 1021. Uh, and we'll check our arrival. Winds 020. Yeah, so runway 3. Uh, oh, sorry, runway 14 we got, didn't we? Uh, so we will have a slight class when It's only 6 knots, though. Nothing really to worry about too much. I don't know if it's simulated or a glitch, but is the right. But is it right the PMDG 73 can run without a fuel pump on? Um. I don't know. It's a good question. We'll stick one on anyway. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, technically, fuel... If, if you have a bit of fuel, um, it will... Natch, gravity will feed it anyway. Um, let me get rid of the ground power here. And remove our chocks. Plan pushback. Which is going to put us out there. I think that pretty much puts us on Bravo, to be fair. And we'll connect the tug up. You should see that start rolling forward. Yes, we do. The drawlocks are on. Uh, Yon Nittenberg can come on as well. Okay, so let's just take a quick look around. Uh, Jamie's getting ready to push. Can't tell if Nighthawk's pushing or not yet. But we got plenty of clearance between each other, so I think we can all just get going. Uh, parking brake is off. Parking brake is set within the aircraft. Alright. Sorry, that's what you wanted to do. Okay. Release parking brake. Uh, do I have the 787? Would you really like to do some two ops with it? They go to America. I don't, unfortunately, okay, know. Um, I don't have the I don't have the deluxe version, but. Um... Commencing pushback. Good start the engine. Okay. Turn off packs. And number two. For that N1 to build. And fuel. We gotta bring up.
Love those engines. Uh, yeah, two yops would be interesting, actually. I mean, you could put in... How long are the flights, generally, Jamie, that you're looking at? Um, because we, we, we typically want to aim for about a two-hour block time if we can. I mean, at a push, I can go 210, maybe even 215, but... Anything beyond that starts to get a bit long for the stream. Unless we do a planned long haul. So you could, you could pitch a long haul, because we haven't done one of those for a while. Okay... Hopefully the uh, bug should be stopping shortly. Okay, push back completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking brake is set, sir. Parking brake set. Low and gear craft. Down comes the nose. Okay, sir. Clear to disconnect and it's been removed. See you at the side. Have a safe flight. And off it goes. Sydney to LA. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, they go to America, but they can also do... I mean, Gatwick, yeah, Gatwick to Palma would be uh, a good one. Uh, so, yeah, maybe pitch that into the um, uh, positive rate discussion there, Jamie. Um, but, yeah, I think that would be, uh, be fun. Good, good one to do. Okay, engine number two to continuous. I got this really weird cursor on my screen now. I don't know why. It's disappeared. Um, bringing the left packs in, and we'll do engine one. And uh, yes, uh, Dan, thank you, has put a link into our Discord server. So if you're not a member, please do join in. Come, become part of the Positive Rate family. Okay, bring it in fuel. Wait for that uh, number one engine to spool up. Flight to St. Martin would be nice. Yes. Yeah. That's a good idea, Nighthawk, actually. St. Martin from where, though? Um, trying to think what, what what would be a good leg from St. Martin. Maybe maybe from Los Angeles or something like that. I'm not sure. Okay, we got a good start on engine two. We can bring in packs in for that. APU can go off uh, once we put the power on, that is. That happens a lot in real life, because I see that all the time. <laughs> I never knew what caused it, but it, I always remember the light, just the, everything, the whole lights would just go off the airplane so they come on, and, and obviously it's because uh, someone's forgotten to turn the power on, so it's, I always find that amusing, because I do it myself, obviously. Uh, Flight 2 can go to continuous. Um, okay, everything else for now, I think, is looking okay. Uh, we don't need any anti-ice or anything like that today. And, uh, oh, yaw dampers popped off, possibly because of the power disruption, so we'll put that back on again. And um, we should be good to go. Okie doke. Oh, uh, takeoff today is our V2 is 129 uh, plus 5, so we'll put that to 134. And we can start rolling here. Jamie says, when we got home from Palma last year, all the packs and lights went off for about 10 seconds. Yeah, for, exactly. Yeah. Pilot. It, it happens in real life. That's what's, the, that's what's so funny about it. Yeah. It totally, totally happens in real life. That's Bravo coming up here. A 
in. I can see Nighthawks. I see Nighthawks already got the jump on us. Look at that. <laughs> Okay. Let's get some uh, flaps in here. Put uh, Prince RATA on. Uh, verify takeoff speeds. I might take off speeds are completely fine. Don't need to do that. Okay. Oh, still off course. T9 uh, getting ready to go. You can take off at your uh, convenience, Nighthawk, if you like, or you can wait. Looks like he might be rolling. Uh, he flew to Boa Vista yesterday because... Oh, you're away from home for about four hours, had 10 ton center tanks. Oh wow, yeah, that's cool. That's a good long haul. There goes that 330 headwinds. Nice long roll up for the Airbus there. Off he goes. Okay. Here's our stop line. Brake set. Brakes were set. Video, let's get landing lights on, trick off, uh, everything else is good. Engines are in continuous. Um, oh, we got a orange on there, but never mind. Everything's yellow damper's fine, that's good. Uh, initial altitude 10,000 set. Runway course 348. And uh, I, think, I think we're good to go, guys. Oh, uh, let's get the author on. Flight directors. And you know. Oh, the Aerosoft 330, that'll be an interesting one. Look at the run run textures here, are really nice. Yeah. Fifty percent. Look up. Speeds alive. Just kick the tires and light the fires, Big Daddy. Absolutely. It is a climb 2D rate, so a bit slower. You can see we only got 86 on N N1 there, actually. Yeah, up we go. A little bit of crosswind to grab onto as we go up. You're up. Uh, departure uh, vector from the runway is actually slight off center. So we'll start still manual at the moment. 
starting to drop that nose. Flaps one. And flap zero. in there. All pilot. <clears throat> Computer has control. Our gear back in the park. Run my turn off. The taxi can come off. Keep the landing lights on just now until we hit 10,000. Coming up to our Maximum uh, cruise speed below 10,000 at 250 knots. Let's see if we get a picture of the guys behind us. Oop. There's night up, up above. Look at the lovely textures of the the arid. ground surrounding Canberra. And there's Canberra itself. Right, in terms of restrictions, we do have a 6,000 below at Agtex. So we have to wait until we pass that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Vicky. <laughs> There we go. Um, no restrictions coming up, so we can roll that up to 390. There we go. Approaching 10,000. Your plan is a Bluebird 757. Yeah, that, that's a, a, a definite, definite for me. And I really do want that 777 as well. Okay, landing lights come off. Uh, leave the seatbelts on just for the moment, but we can uh, definitely release the crew. Steering pressure. Just open up the range a bit on our uh, map. Avbeg is the uh, exit point for this departure. And we're really starting to climb well now. Doing some quick checks up above, nothing really causing alarm. I'll tell you what we forgot to do is set RTO on our uh, before takeoff though. That's what I forgot. Well, that is a mistake. And a critical one, but if uh, you get an emergency and you gotta stop, then that can cause you major problems. Getting airborne there, he's up 10,000. Nighthawk's just about a 20. Oh, and we got some, uh, not a lot of news today, but uh, a couple interesting things. So we'll wait till we get up to cruise for that. 
Uh, Jamie says, I set RTO, but I think my natural instinct would be just to slam full manual brakes. Um, I, I suppose so, but I don't know if um, there's a, a disadvantage to that. Maybe you don't benefit from anti-lock. Um, Nighthawk says, the Airsoft group getting German government funding for the A339... I have no idea. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. Some lovely wing views out here. Turn means we've probably just hit half big, so I shall wait for the aircraft to stabilize and we can take seatbelts off. Now passing 19,000. Filter off. Oh, I'm missing all sorts of stuff today, you guys. Where am I? Yeah, yeah. Naughty, naughty. Oh, well. Didn't have my strobe, son. There is um, an auto setting for... Oh, no, that's off. Okay. Oh, no, I may be thinking of... Uh, a different airplane, but there's uh, definitely an airplane that has an auto setting for strobes, I believe. Just put Sleepy in the dog coaster. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know what's happening with Aerosoft. I think it's all a bit of a mystery right now, what's, uh, what's going on internally. Pretty time of year, though. Of course, uh, Australia is now heading into their winter, so this is almost like their autumn. And we are using um, Aki season ad uh, advanced, so I don't know how much influence it has on Australia, but I believe it, it does impact the, uh, the colors. And it's, you can see it's a bit more green, so I'd imagine like in the height of the summer, I could be wrong, maybe if uh, any Australians watching can let me know, but is it around Canberra area, I mean, does that tend to get a lot more brown and arid in the, the height of the Australian summer, which is kind of around December or January time. Uh, you don't like how Aerosoft has abandoned the CRG in Twin Honor? Yeah, I mean, I don't... It's really hard to know what's what the rationale is, but it's it's not a great... It's not a great look for them. I will admit. Uh, I mean, it, I think part of the problem is to, you know, compared to other studios like PMDG, uh, which has had fantastic... Uh, uh, ongoing support uh, as well as uh, Just Flight, you know, absolutely exceptional for all of their products. Um, there's a very high bar nowadays, and I think if you want to play with the big, big boys in terms of paper add ons, it doesn't just come down to what you put out day one, it com comes down to what you, how much you dedicate to making that best product, uh, your products the best they can be. Uh, which which can be an ongoing thing, and, and a, a part of the expense this time round, and this is a new thing for Flight Simulator 2020, is Flight Simulator 2020 gets updated regularly, and uh, studios have never really had to cope with that before. I mean, if you go back to FSX, uh, P3D, fair enough, maybe, but FSX, I think there was only about two core updates for that uh, for that sim, and, and nothing else. So... 
So it is a bit more challenging nowadays, I think. Um, but then, you, you know, you get the same on X-Plane. X-Plane gets regular updates as well. Yeah, the Bluebird does look promising. Talking of colors, you need NVIDIA filters. I would go, wouldn't go back to... I, I do use them. Uh, I maybe just don't have them set quite as strong as you. Um, but I think, for me, I think this will be relatively true to life. Because there is always a bit of a fade uh, softening when you're up uh, at altitude. Um, so, but I don't know, maybe I could make it a bit more rich, I suppose. But, I mean, that looks pretty good. It's not, it's not maybe vibrant, but uh, then I, I just, I don't necessarily think that that's realistic anyway when you're at altitude, but that's my personal opinion. Jamie back there. Look at that, though. You really see the detail now. Beautiful. That's Jamie approaching 26,000. Uh, we are now approaching 32,000. Heading for flight level 390. Uh, sound level's okay for you guys, uh, microphone, music, everything like that, engine noises. Let me know if there's any dis disparity. I mean, to me, everything sounds fine, but... Um, it's always good to hear from you guys in case I can make anything a bit better. So... Expecting to have about 2.9 tons at arrival at Cam uh, to sorry Gold Coast. Expected a 251, so we are 251s. Actually, that confuses me. <laughs> I've got the clock set wrong somewhere. So if we go by that 140, then we're talking about just over an hour and 10 minutes. See the top climb approaching, that's about 30 miles off. Any exciting news for you guys? Uh, we will do the news shortly once we hit cruise altitude. I'm gonna uh, step away to grab uh, some more coffee. I got my special mug today, too. Oh. I don't have one in the airplane, but I've got one here. Actually, you know what I do want to know, um, anybody is watching, tell me what the temperature is like in your area today. What's what's the outside temperature today? Uh, for me right now, it is uh, coming up 14 degrees, which is reasonably okay for Scotland. Uh, we might actually see up to 18 today as well. Uh, Jamie says, I'm going to go poor. <laughs> so many planes, yeah, the 787, who's doing the 787? That's off my radar. Triple uh, seven seven three seven max. I'll probably give that one a miss. To be fair, seven five seven. Yeah, definitely in, in the tomahawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of buzz from that for just just flight. Actually, and that's going to be covered in our news today as well. It's cold but warming up. Uh, weather can't decide if it's winter or spring. Yeah. Is your um, I know you keep telling me, Nighthawk, where, where, roughly where are you? <coughs> it's the old uh, Canadian light switch, isn't it? Uh, Jamie says, 15 degrees, was up to 18 yesterday. Yeah, very nice. Uh, Dan's in Ireland, in the Republic. He says, 11 degrees Celsius here. On and off showers as usual. All oh, right. Yeah, you're probably getting a bit of wind influencing that. Uh, near Guelph, right? Okay, Nighthawk, yeah. Very good, very good, sir. Yeah, it's um, 
Canadian doesn't Canada doesn't really have spring anymore, right? Does it? It kind of just goes beep 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 beep. <laughs> it's very odd. So what's the uh, what's the temperature expected to be today, Nighthawk? Where you are? Passing thirty-seven thousand. Fourteen and rain. Okay, yeah, that's very close to here, actually, at the moment. Very close to here. I think we're getting a spot of rain today. There's the altitude horn. So we are now approaching our cruising altitude of flight level three nine zero. Gonna say uh, gonna stay below ten, but sunny. No, that's not too bad. So, Nighthawk, I don't want you to pinpoint your location, but which direction out of Guelph are you? East, west, north, or south? You got a cruise of 4-0? Yeah. I did too, but then it, if there's a 3-9-0, and actually 4-0 didn't make sense to me because it's an easterly course. So why would why would I fly at 4-0? So it's, it just seemed like an odd assignment, because uh, uh, normally you'd, you'd fly an, uh, an odd number if you're going east. Okay, we are stabilized at 390. I will be right back, guys. I'm going to need some lovely views of the Australian countryside uh, as we fly towards the Gold Coast, and I will be right back with you in just a minute.
Okay, back with you guys. Thanks for your patience. Just do a quick check of where we are. And we've got... Uh, I'm going to call him Addy. Addy says, hello. Hello, Addy. How are you? Uh, east of Guelph. Okay, right. Christian, how are you? 18 degrees. Lucky dog. Lucky, lucky dog. Okay, we're just going to bring uh, noises down and we'll go for the news, guys. Here we go. Okay, some interesting things happening at the moment. Um, so we have uh, Sydney Seaplanes uh, from Pyramid 8 Studios. Now what I think this is, it is a, uh, a whole new seaplane base, uh, which is in Sydney, which looks really, really good. There's some uh, awesome pictures here. Look at the detailing on that. Get some people sitting out. I tell you, it must be an amazing place to go. Uh, and you can see it's got the seaplane docks there as well. So Sydney Seaplanes is obviously the name of the uh, the company, uh, which is very very nice. It's not been a lot of uh, scenery for uh, seaplane bases, but uh, yeah, this is looking absolutely swell. Uh, and that is actually um, coming from Orbix that one, and uh, it also blends with the Orbix Sydney cityscape. So if you have that, um, it. it, it will it is compatible you won't get any conflicts which is which is great um is EGP, egph v2 on this no i haven't heard about that um next one is we've got oh look at this guys get ready for some triple seven porn here this uh just released from pmdg they're obviously getting very very close and we can see uh you know Picture say a thousand words. There's a lot of detail in the screens there. Um, you can see uh, the FMCs working. Got uh, you know the uh, primary flight displays are working as well. It's really really cool. But the uh, just the detailing on the seats and everything like that. It just looks so polished. And I, I, I dare say everyone's going to get very excited. And obviously that that would appear to be using the same um, a similar tablet to what we currently have in the PMDG. Um, I think there are more improvements for the tablet coming as well, which are going to be retrospectively retro, uh, fitted into the um, uh, PMDG737 as well. Uh, Nighthawk says, I've always hated Boeing Brown. Yeah. Well, that was um, that was something that was introduced with the, the 757 and the 767, wasn't it? And it carried through to the 777, and then uh, I guess 787, they went, went a different route. But... Um, I mean, for me, I find it quite calming. I, I, I find the uh, the Airbus cockpits very sterile uh, with their kind of cold blue-gray interior. Uh, now, here's a big one. Just Flight, a uh, good, good sponsor of ours. The Tomahawk is in the final stretch. So if you are a huge fan of this, uh, this is a, a, a very popular add-on from them from previous Sims. Uh, and it is almost, almost done, and uh, it's looking absolutely fantastic. Look at that, with the doors open there. Uh, looking really, really good. So a huge congrats to the Just Flight team for uh, all their hard work. Uh, it's definitely looking like it's paying off. Uh, there's a nice uh, trainer scheme there. And um, yeah, just keep an eye on the Just Flight site. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be an announcement on YouTube as well once this comes out. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, you flew the Tomahawk and it was amazing. Yeah. In real life. Uh, or in the sim. Um, sim update 15. So we've got a few things. There's a city update, which is uh, southwest Germany. Uh, local legend, the Dornier Adio 31, will be coming out as well. And I expect there'll be a little bit of money uh, for that. <clears throat> uh, this uh, this one, uh, the Dornier 31, it looks like that that was influenced by uh, Innabuilds as well. 
also we've got an update on the a320 neo v2 so I, I believe this is the one that inbuilds is working on this is going to be a much higher fidelity version of the a320 which will also be compatible with uh, all of uh, the simmers who are currently flying Microsoft Flight Simulator on Xbox. So if you are an uh, Xbox user, this will be awesome news for you. And uh, you're, you're about to get a high fidelity A320. And I believe that's going to be completely free. Uh, I, I don't uh, think that, that there's going to be a charge for that. So anyway, there's going to be a developer live stream on the 24th of April at 10:30 uh, Pacific time or 17:30 uh, Zulu. So if you uh, do search on um, a Sobo uh, YouTube channel, uh, I'm sure there'll be an announcement on there. You can tune in or watch after the fact and see everything that's coming out. Sim update 15. Up, I mean, 15 updates, absolutely fantastic. Huge, awesome support from a Sobo on Microsoft 2020. And this is despite the fact that we've got a brand new sim coming out this year. Um, so, so, you know, the, the fact that they continue to dedicate time and effort into making 2020 better and better is, is just such a great thing and uh, very appreciated. Uh, in real life, you flew it, Jamie. Okay, very cool. I flew the uh, Piper Warrior. Um, I never really had uh, an opportunity to fly a Tomahawk, but yeah, it is a, it's a well-regarded trainer, isn't it, a Tomahawk, I think. A lot of Discovery flights are often offered in that. Um, Aerosoft in Lime Sim is coming out with scenery for Lukla, which is really cool. And there's a there's a video here as well, so I'll bring that for you. So I, I mean, personally, I think Lukla in the Sim actually looks pretty good already. Um, but this is a, obviously a complete overhaul. They're really taking it to the nth detail, and you can see the you know the whole village um, that's around Lukla as well. Uh, I love the detail with the flags and everything like that. So the you know the buildings are going to get a, an upgrade. Um, there's probably going to be a lot more objects and uh, things that aren't currently there in the sim. I will love the love the additional horses and buffalo there, um, and it's it's looking pretty good. So if you are one of these crazy pilots, we did a stream on uh, Lukla a year or so ago, and I I couldn't land it at all. <laughs> I kept crashing. <laughs> I kept crashing. It was horrible. Um, and I have landed at Lukla, but just I couldn't do it on stream. Um, but yeah, it is, it's looking pretty good. Absolutely amazing. And if you, you like a challenge and you want some added detail to one of the most, if not the most, difficult airport in the world to land at, uh, then you'll be very, very interested in this new offering from Aerosoft and uh, Line Sim. So there you go, guys. That is the news. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll get back to our uh, normal flight. guys there we go dash seven yeah um uh, dash seven is four props isn't it i'm not sure uh no we um well when when i did it it was the um it was a kodiak i think but um Partly me being a silly person, uh, I, I think a lot of people are struggling just to stop the Kodiak from blowing up <laughs> the engine. Uh, the one time I did come in, I, I lost it all. I lost the engine completely and uh, ended up crashing into the foothill. So, uh, yeah, Luke challenge Dan, that was it. Yeah. Uh, Jamie says Kenko flew an A320 to Luke La professional flight simulation. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like something. Uh, a certain very popular uh, flight simulator for reasons unknown does. Um, I mean, some yeah, you see outrageous things like some guy landed an A320 on the top of Mount Everest. It's like, okay, sure. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> we try to keep it semi-realistic on this stream, so. Uh, I guess it would be more like the Antarctica series because it says Volume 1. Um, could be. Could be. 
still getting chased by Jamie. Yes, we are. Look at the lovely colors down below us there, guys. Anyway, let's build uh, some arrival preparation here. So uh, there is a slight change in the winds. It's now uh, 030 at 7 knots, which is interesting. So I think we will still stick with uh, runway 14, which was assigned. Um, so let's go into our landing calculator here, runway 14. Sorry, it's been on the dark side probably. Uh, port aircraft details, port weather. Uh, Pax will be on landing flaps 30. Yep, 30 sounds fine to me. Uh, VRF 129. There we go. ILS is course 139 at 1110. Is ready to go when we need it. Cross check 1110. Check and check. 139, 139, 139. Good to go. Top percent. 160 miles away. We've got plenty of time still. We'll leave that out to. Uh, 160 range for time being. Now, Jamie says, I don't know if you can call Kenko realistic. I tried to open up reverse thrust, but ended up going toga down a runway and overran. <laughs> so. What's. Oh, he tried to, yeah. I Yeah, I don't know. Uh, sounds a bit, bit outrageous to me. I mean, some people like to see these crazy things, and that is, to be fair, that's why simulators can be fun in certain ways. You can do outrageous things, right? Which you couldn't do in normal life. So, you know, I, I totally get why people want to do it. And I, um, I did, there was a period of time when I was younger where I, I did all those crazy things, but nowadays, um, the challenge for me is to try uh, and do it as, as realistic as I can do it. And I'm, there's some people who are better at it than I am. Certainly. <coughs> but I, I take enjoyment in trying to do things um, on the numbers. Look at that. Definitely coming over some farmland now. So, naturally, uh, because it's farmland, we would expect to see some green down there. Getting old. Oh, yawning. <laughs> Jamie says I try to do realistic as well, but everyone does it differently, so you just follow Ryanair's SOPs. Oh, Dan, you, did you hear that? You'd be proud of Jamie there. Be proud of that. Um, and also, a lot. Of, I, I was reading an article about Ryanair's uh, standard operating procedures and why they're known for abrupt landings more so than others. Um, it's mainly because the, uh, for fuel burn, they tend to take uh, steeper approaches. 
A good man, he says. <laughs> uh, Christian says, Dan showed you all the, uh, the... Was that the Al Gavin video? All right. I haven't heard of that one. Even I've not heard of that one. <laughs> Jayhawk. <laughs> Hello, Jayhawk. How are you, by the way? Uh, AI. All right. Okay. AI, not AI. Or is it A1 or AI? Artificial intelligence. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, Beyond ATC. You're doing very well. Jayhug, that's good to hear. That's really good to hear. What's the missus? Stupid chat front capital. Uh, oh, look, yeah, it does, yeah. I, plus, it's really, the text is really small for me on OBS as well, so, so sometimes my eyesight's starting to fail me a bit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, beyond DTC, uh, it's getting a lot of press, a lot more press than I thought it would. People are getting pretty excited about it. I'll tell you what I did think was interesting, though, is the idea that it either it's, it's going to integrate into that sim so that that's a bit of a game changer because i am presuming what that means is it'll it'll cover areas that are offline but if it sees that there's an area that's online it'll just disengage and if if that's the case that's pretty cool um the only thing is i don't know how that's going to work with handoffs but i don't really know what happens on that sim nowadays if it's as realistic as that uh, Dan did a funny video with generated AI voice text and Gavin's voice talking about how good Boeing and Ryanair is. All oh, right, okay, got you. Well, you got to send me a link to that, Dan. Uh, Jayhawk says she's doing okay. Spine injection didn't. Well, no. I'm sorry, Jayhawk. I'm sorry to hear that. That's all. That's uh, very frustrating, and uh, I'm sure that is extremely frustrating. Uh, Jamie, some the Vatsim integration is one of the main reasons you're getting it. Okay, more money. Oh, is it more money for that? Is it? Kristen says it's really good. I had a quite laugh. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Dan, maybe uh, ping me on Discord if you want. Uh, it's okay. You're going down different routes. Okay, good. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully there's still light at the end of the tunnel, Jayhawk. But um, I am sorry to hear that. Amazing scenery. You can still see Nighthawk up ahead of me there. You suggested Lowy. <laughs> what, Innsbruck? Um, Jamie says premium voices are more money, but it's a lot to purchase in the first place, yeah. Well, they have dropped the initial price to 30 quid, didn't they? But I don't know if that includes the VATSIM integration. I don't know. I'm not... I, I, for me, I think until artificial intelligence gets cheaper, um, it's, it's not something I would invest personal money into. Uh, you hope you don't get in trouble for it. I'm sure he'll see the funny side of it. I'm sure he'll see the funny Oh, he's already in trouble. He's already did. Din's already in trouble. EJ Hog. Oh no! What did he do? What did he do? <laughs> One you mentioned. Oh. Cool. Gav seen already died laughing. Oh, cool. Good. Yeah, I thought he would. Gav, I could. Gav's got a good sense of humor. I think he appreciates it. Yeah, I saw you DM'd it. Thanks, Dan. I'll probably check it out after the stream. He did one for you as well. What praising Airbus? Uh, right top of descent is now eighty thousand guys. Eighty thousand. Eighty miles. <laughs> 80,000. It's over 8,000! 
Oh man. Losing the plot. Okay, I was gonna it just remind me of something, Dan. I can't remember what I was gonna say now. Um Oh, I know what I was going to ask. Dan, are we still doing um, uh, meeting up in Manchester? What time of the year do we usually do that? Is that August? I can't remember. And who's organizing that? No relish in my obsession with Jersey. <laughs> Well, you were featured at the end of the, uh, the Manchester meetup last year, weren't you? Christian said, I haven't seen it yet. Where is it? Where's, what, you looking for the video? I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Dan will ping it over to you, Christian. Gotta make sure I don't overrun the uh, top of the sun. Tell you what, I will do. It's premature, but I'll drop this down to 2,500. That way, I'll descend on its own, which is a great thing. It's one thing I really love about the Boeing, which the Airbus doesn't do, um, is uh, it auto descends at the right moment. Um, uh, one zero two two two. It's all good to go. Dan going to Canal Street instead. <laughs> oh, hey, Dark. Hi, Dark. How are you doing? Oh, guys, by the way. I don't have the stuff up, but Dark Fury is flying at uh, 8 o'clock London time tomorrow. Uh, so if you guys are around in the uh, Sunday evening for London time, or uh, this would be um, 20... Sorry, 1900 Zulu. Is that right? Yeah, 1900 Zulu uh, tomorrow. Or 3 p.m. Uh, East Coast time. So do check him out. Uh, he's he's going to be doing another. Uh, he's going to be doing a, a new route for us. Actually, it's um, showing off some more big scenery. It is. Is it Hamburg to Warsaw? Dark? Is that right? Hamburg to Warsaw. Two great scenery from Orbix that we're going to uh, show off there. So, uh, and he'll be taking out uh, something that I I don't have personally, but he'll be taking out the PMDG seven three seven eight hundred, which is really cool. So yeah. Which is far more common to see flying that route than uh, the 736. Gavin's voice is more spot on, though. The other one doesn't really sound like John. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check it out. Um. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, Skipple. Oh, you're flying from Skipple. All right. Oh, Amst right, E H A M Amsterdam, right, oh. right. Sorry, I just I, I realized uh, my error. <laughs> right, so you're flying from Schiphol to um, uh, to Warsaw. Yeah. So yeah, do uh, check that out t tomorrow at eight o'clock, guys. And if you want to fly along, um, the show announcement will be out. Uh, shortly after the stream, probably about 10 minutes after the stream, so do, do check the channel uh, for uh, Dark Fury's flight tomorrow. And he's got all the memes ready to go! Woohoo! So, if you like like our memes... I don't know if we have anything... Uh, do we have a celebratory meme? That's what we're missing. 
I have to remind myself what we got. Huh. I suppose we could use WoW. So, um, yeah, Dark Fury is broadcasting tomorrow at uh, wow. 8, 8 p.m. London time. <laughs> Uh, we're really looking forward to Dark starting to stream more often. I, I got, of course, I've got an announcement. I'm going to be out of the country from the 2nd to the 14th of May, guys. Um, so I will not be covering broadcasts during that period of time. Uh, hopefully, though, Dark Fury will be. Uh, although it might not be a Static Saturday or Static Sunday, uh, but Dark will uh, uh, make put up show announcements as they uh, as they come in the force. So do keep an eye on that. We'll try to get out as much press coverage as we can as possible. And as Dan, by the way, I saw you put out the show announcement today in the Discord, so thank you for that. Appreciate that. Dan just did it without even anybody asking. Just just magically came in. Amazing. What a guy. What a team. And of course, um, once again, we do a bit of a, a massive, massive thank you to Nick uh, for uh, all, all the time and dedication he spent with us. So... <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> hey, Top of Descent is closing in, guys. Just about 20 miles. You're always two steps ahead. It's a useful skill to have. Useful skill. Lovely terrain down there, isn't it? You always think Australia is quite a flat place, but it's it's actually quite the opposite. Definitely a, a little bit of flutter in the air today, so it's probably all the heat. See those wings bobbing up and down. Just waiting for that uh, top of descent. The plane will do its thing. The VNAV will uh, spool down and start taking this down. And actually, what I'll do is I'll turn the music down so you can really hear this because uh, I love the. The spool down noise on the engine is so amazing. Wish there was mud to see more road vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, unfortunately, my computer wouldn't be able to do it. The Australia freeware community is huge. Being impatient. The seat I've often had in the cabin, just looking over the engines. I'm going to really turn this up so you guys can hear this spool down noise. So, yeah, it will be a bit loud, but I'll turn it down after. It's details like this which make me love the PMDG. Okay, here the see the nose pitching. hear it quite as loud that time but <laughs> yeah, it's really impressive I love that really really cool there's 
a dog barking somewhere. Uh, Jamie says, I was doing an idle descent all the way down to ILS at Glasgow, and then the base of the idle thrust was so loud that the engines got quieter when they spooled back up. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's why I, I like the uh, the Airbus 220s, if you ever see those in real life. When they, they spool down, they go... They kind of make this, like, really weird howling noise. <laughs> it's so weird. Because I can hear them actually sometimes doing that when they're flying over my house, coming in for Edinburgh. And you can hear that howl as, as they're spooling down to try and slow down to uh, 250. Check and profile looks okay. There isn't much AT20s in Europe, but they sound like a, a whale. Yeah, they do. Um, well, there, there's an increasing number. Uh, primarily, I can't remember who just announced they're going to buy buy them actually uh, in Britain, but um, I know obviously you got Air Baltic, you got Swiss. Um, but there's there's quite a few ordered, so uh, there will be an increasing number as time goes on. Yeah, Air Baltic. Uh, I think they're pretty much the whole fleet is almost. Uh, Antonov has that as well. High high alts when descending an engine spool. The whole room shaking from a sub. Oh, you got a subwoofer. There you go. Uh, oh, is Breeze going all, all T20? Okay. Didn't know that. I did not know that, sir. I did not know that. A little bit of cloud building now. What a shame. Just we're coming into the destination now, we got weather. <laughs> sure not your stomach rumbling? Yeah, there you go. Get a little bit of belly cam there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, 23 degrees at Gulf Gold Coast. Yeah, that's that's a nice temperature, actually. That's a good temperature. Oh, by the way, guys. Uh, Positive Rebot, just remind me, uh, please do hit, hit the like on the stream for me if you wouldn't mind. <coughs> and if you're just watching in the background, uh, please do subscribe, join us, uh, join our Discord, become part of the Positive Rate family. We'd love to hear from you. Any ideas about flights that you'd like to see um, are always welcome. And uh, you can you can put those into uh, Positive Rate discussions on our Discord server. It's quite windy yesterday in Scotland. Yes, it was. Yeah, it certainly was. Probably more so where you are, Jamie, because you're a bit further up than I am. Starting to see a bit of civilization below us there. Okay. So we will shortly be starting our approach. Uh, just to go through that again, just in case you guys... I want to see what that looks like. So that is uh, coming in through Bernie, intercept Bernie. Uh, again, uh, this, we got some restrictions, so we must be above 9,000, uh, 7,000. And this will be probably due to train as well, guys. Uh, aiming for uh, roughly 4,000 to Chuk. Now, I've got a hard uh, altitude of 3,000 set for Keegan and 2,500 set for Urpod. Uh, also, I've uh, set a a speed reduction at Keegan for 210 knots because uh, I was getting a, a, a drag required notification after AirPods so we don't want to be in a situation where we're having to uh, do too many things at once like slowing down the airplane as we come in for our approach into Gold Coast um, but we yes we're pretty much going to do this exactly as published 
uh, except we'll be flying outdoor bird pods. We're not going to take that shortcut from uh, uh, Charlie uh, Golf to to November India. We're going to fly right to AirPod, and then uh, we'll intercept the localizer, fly straight for a bit, uh, which is pretty much how it works on there. Uh, until we get to the entry into the glide path at 7.8 miles out of Gold Coast. And hopefully we'll have a much um, much ni nicer touchdown today, guys. Uh, because we're coming on 14, so we will, uh, there's no high speed exits on this. Uh, it's an 8,000 foot runway. I'll probably go auto brake one uh, with the aim to get off at Kilo and then backtrack into the terminal. That's my that's my plan anyway. That's my plan. Uh, did you dial your altitude down more from two five zero? So I'm not sure what you're asking me. Oh, no, it's at twenty five hundred, mate. So the uh, the VNAV will take it through all the restrictions as it goes down. Uh, in a build. Los Angeles, all right, LAX update and another 300 update just released. Very cool. Thanks for the news. Japanson charts are so useful. Yeah, they are. Yeah. It's a good way to, uh, it's something I recommend even for people who are new to simming because it's a great way to learn, uh, especially you get a little bit of some people teaching you. Uh, and I'm still learning things, don't get me wrong. I'm not an expert at all. I, I think, you know, guys like Gavin and, um, you know, even Dan, uh, like you, Dan, I, you know, I, I think you, you're a bit more informed than I am, uh, although I, I know enough to uh, scrape by. <laughs> okay. Looks like it's going to be partly cloudy. I wonder what it says there. We still get good visibility. Overcast at uh, 4,000 feet. Um, so yeah, we're, we're probably going to see a bit of cloud cover coming in uh, to Gold Coast, unfortunately. But um, as mentioned, it is a lovely balmy 23 degrees there. Winds are 7 knots. It will be a crosswind. Um, but uh, nothing too major, so hopefully uh, we'll get down safely without any incident. Getting closer to our entry into our approach. Sure, you're do a line check. <laughs> yeah, I would feel dramatical. At least I don't use flap rings. <laughs> no, I don't, but actually I could probably do with putting in a fix or two in here. Um, what was it? YS. Oh, where are we flying to again? YBCG. YBCG. To. Might as well help ourselves out here a bit. Okay. Button right heading 139. So, recip call 139 it gives us 319. Uh, we'll go for 8 miles. I'll give us our entry point into the glide scope with a, uh, a line into the airport. 
check Discord, uh, some EGH V2 picks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, Jamie, remind me. We'll, uh, we'll look at them when we're uh, when we're down. YMCA show. Anyway, and that was a freebie. I'm not supposed to do that unless I get a donation. Michael's burgers are the best, and Celine is peddling hat talks. Uh, approaching 15,000. So uh, VNAV is uh, flying us through the restrictions nicely. We'll be dropping down to 250 shortly. Or 240, I think, is the published approach. T6. Oh no, it's T6 actually. But we'll probably uh, take more assertive control over that speed as we uh, get closer. My flap rings bring all the boys to. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, dude? I just realized that that things out of position is <laughs> anonymous. Keep singing. I don't know who who who's behind that one. It just says anonymous. Uh, keep singing. Oh my god! And it was a three pound tip as well. But my flat legs brings all the boys yard. Willie says, "Get out your bard." <laughs> Willie says, "Get out your bard." And Willie says, "Get out your bard." <laughs> Oh, anyway, thank you for that. Uh, Anonymous, whoever it is, I suspect it might be dead. I suspect it might be dead. <clears throat> uh, this one's for you, dude. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Ted's looking around, yeah. Uh, thanks, Dan. No, no, much appreciated. That will go into the pot so you can support our Epidemic Sound subscription, which is our most expensive thing that we have to do. It seems to be going up in price every year now. Um, so, But we will continue to pay for it as long as we can get support and afford, afford to do that. Okay, we are starting to edge in closer here, so just to drop the range a bit. Uh, 5,000 above, still tracking against that. But I think I will slow us down as we're approaching 10,000, so let's roll that back to 240. Uh, Seatbelts can go on as well. And landing lights. How fast can we get the stream age restricted? <laughs> uh, I find that thank you creepy. I find that thank you creepy as your eyes fade out weird at the end. <laughs> oh. I never noticed that actually. I have to look. I have to look back at that. In the chat, type M or AIF. You want to see Willie do the Macarena or Agadu? Get lost. <laughs> I don't even know how to do the Macarena. I know it's something like that, isn't it? And I don't know how to do Agadu, so don't even ask. Okay, uh, 100, 1022 set on the QH. Better practice the Macarena for next stream? Yes, sir, Jamie. <laughs> 
And I, I, I'll have to, I, honestly, it's that long ago. I, I do roughly know it, but not very well. I know it's, it involves putting hands in strange places of your body, that's about it. Macaroni seems to be the hit. <laughs> oh no. What are you guys doing to me? You just, you just seek to embarrass me, that's all. I'm just a plaything to you. I'm just a plaything. <laughs> okay. Coming up on our first turn, uh, Chook. What a name, Chook. Wonder if that's, uh, wonder if that means chicken over there, because it, it definitely means chicken in South Africa, I don't know that. Chook. Hey, Macarena. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if we hit total donations of 16 quid for um, for the Epidemic Sound uh, license, I will do the Macarena. And that's not one donation, just a combined. Uh, so we got three quid so far, so if we, we need another... 13 pounds. <laughs> Dark, you're having far too much fun. Well, it's starting to get cloudy now. Um, but the temperature outside is still quite warm, so we don't need any anti-ice or anything like that. Descending nicely. 6,000 below up next, and it looks like we're going to hit that without any difficulty at all. The VNAV on this is spectacular. I will definitely see the VNAV and the PMDG is the best in the business. Uh, I can't vouch for Fenix because I don't have it. But PMDG is it's just like clockwork. Coming up as an autobus. Is nobody going to add up to this? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, uh, hey, Macarena. <laughs> That's the best thing. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Hey, Macarena. All right. Oh, that's awesome, guys. Thank you so much for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, very much. Wh whoever you are, that uh, covers us for uh, yet another month of Epidemic Sound. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we'll keep the good tunes coming and flowing to you. Uh, much appreciated, guys. Pilot caught doing macarena in final stages of landing. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I'm getting close to uh, landing here. Okay, um, I think what we will do though is we'll get the uh, ILS plugged in here. Uh, we'll bring this down to T T10. I want to do this in a bit of hurry, so we're going to bring some speed brakes out. Get uh, flap one out as well. I could do. I don't know how to do I could do. Oh man. I got do. Was it is that the one that goes I got do 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 something something shake a tree. <laughs> that was not you. Oh it says not note looks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> oh, what is happening? Oh, I gotta, I gotta land the plane, guys. <laughs> oh, flaps one. Oh man, I just got dizzy. Oh, it's all going crazy. It's all going crazy. <laughs> I, I promise I'll, I'll do I'll try do my best attempt once we get down. I gotta land the plane first. There you go. Thank you so much. I, I, I honestly, guys, I'm, guys, the generosity today has been absolutely exceptional. Thank you. Oh, there, there we go over the water. A little arm localizer. I'm still getting a drag required after her pie bill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore that. I don't believe that's accurate. <laughs> Please no, John. <laughs> I'll be twerking next. No, absolutely not. Look at that. Look at this, guys. What a view. Coming into Gold Coast. I thought we might see that. That's perfect. <laughs> John has to twerk and then does printed mini skirt. Ooh, that, that's an image. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shake your booty. <laughs> I love the hills. Look at the back. It's just a stunning backdrop of scenery, isn't it? It really is. There's a runway, I think. <laughs> Stop it. I gotta land the plane. I really need to land the plane. Oh, man. Flaps two. Oh, I don't. What's my? I don't even know what my. Uh... Oh, one two nine, one three four. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna fall apart. <laughs> Not a great time to go through all the memes. Look at that. Getting good views of uh, Gold Coast coming in here. Look. Amazing. Very expensive place in the world to live. Why? Make him lose his focus. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Shut up. Yes, you are. <laughs> you absolutely are. <laughs> oh, eight miles, roughly. We got localizer intercept and uh, glide scope intercept. Oh my god, you guys are nuts! All right, dropping the V ref. Gear down. Flaps ten. Where's the sorry not sorry meme? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Don't let me forget that, Dark. We'll try. We'll have to try and find one, eh? Bank angle check. <laughs> What's the bank angle check about? I don't know. Pops 15. Pops 25. And a FAPA 30. Ready to go. Engines to continuous. 
actually, I think the RA work continues. Should turn that off. Oops. Okay, here we go, guys. Uh -oh. Auto break one. Explorer's arms. Oh, I just disarmed them, did I? There we go. <laughs> Will he hold my beer? <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'll have to you have to explain that in more detail after. Hey ref. It's a bit better than last week. Oh, it's a little bit of fiddly on the uh, reverse thrust there. Oh, we got off earlier than I thought we would. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That was textbook, says Dan. Thank you very much. That's big, big praise coming from you, Dan. To try and get one of the gates, see if the gate works, so we can actually see that gate working. Interesting uh, taxiway here. Huh. Oh, there's a line anyway. He's a salmon, not Satan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin! Watch, they don't have any heat, you burn a tire? Yeah. Yeah, I was probably hammering the brakes a bit too much. Kevin, how are you doing? Great to see you, mate. You can't go around, you're not even in the country? <laughs> Right, I'll see if I can catch anybody coming in here. Just two sacks. Oop. 
Who do I see? Is anybody coming in or you guys already landed? Can't see anybody. I've been a whip brand. Oh man. Uh oh, it's multiplayer bug coming back in again. That's frustrating. Oh, I can see Nighthawk there anyway. Oh no, that's that's Jamie. Okay. Okay, I must have missed everyone. Sorry, apologies if I've done that. Man. Um, anyway, this is uh, Gold Coast is available for more We'll do a quick look here. This is really good too. Do a quick check at night. Um, it's a interior modeling is probably not as. Uh, spectacular as um, Canberra, but you do have. I love the like the, the signs that light up inside. It looks really cool. Um, so that looks pretty neat. And actually, if you go down here, this is really detailed. And this is looking lovely. I imagine this is probably more common for the regional flights. Um, but yeah, this looks really really cool. And lots of detail around it too. Bring the uh, daylight back in again. Nice area around the car park. There's like a um, that must be the departure. Oh, that's a, a departure bus station. Uh, buses coming in for departure area. Really, really cool. Some cargo area. Uh, parking spaces down there as well. So this would be um, if you want to do cargo routes. Between Camber and Gold Coast, this will probably be quite a good one to do. Um, got some nice hotels here as well, actually. I love the sheltered car park. That's definitely an Australian thing. You don't see anything like that in, uh, in Canada. Let's see what this hotel was. Rid the Ridges, Ridges, Ridges Hotel. I like the palm trees as well. Yeah, very, very cool. Available from Arbex. Again, another really nice, highly detailed airport. With lovely views of the coastline and uh, the Gold Coast itself. Very pretty. A huge thanks to Arbex for supplying the two airports today. I hope you enjoyed the flight, guys. Um, Big thank you to Jamie and Nighthawk who flew with us uh, the whole way. Uh, also, Christian, uh, thank you for coming along today as well, mate. Dan and Dark, thank you for modding. And, um, of course, a huge thank you for Kevin who's just showing up. I haven't seen you in a while. Jayhog as well. Anybody who's done the donations today. And, yes, I do owe you a dance. And I can't do Agadoo, so it's like, I got to do, do, do something, something, shake a tree. I got to do, do, do something. I don't know. How's it go? <laughs> it's you're talking many years. I think I've maybe heard the song once in my life. But either way, thank you so much for the uh, donations, uh, especially the last one who was not Notelix. Uh, this is for you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, much appreciated, guys. Um, it's been a funny one. Yeah, I mean, I, I, at one point I was laughing. And, and, uh, but, you know, try not to get me too hysterical as we're coming into landing phase. <laughs> but again, that's part of the challenge, right? See if I can hold it together while you guys are making me laugh. Um, Thanks for the flight, says Nighthawk. Got a little busy on approach when all the madness happened. It did. I know, absolutely it did. Um, and yes, please do ch join our Discord, guys, if you haven't already. Uh, become part of the Positive Rate family. You got any route suggestions? Pop them in there, and of course, uh, take advantage of our free liveries for all sorts of aircraft uh, available in the Liveries Fold uh, channel on our Discord. So, uh, Jimmy says, see you, everyone. Great flight today. Yeah, absolutely, it was. Uh, huge thanks to Dark Fury for the route, uh, Orbix for the scenery, and of course, uh, once again, a huge thank you to Nick for being a wonderful producer for Positive Rate since the dawn of time. 
uh, we wish him all the best and uh, hopefully he may come back we don't know um, but until then he, he's been an absolute joy to have and he's really helped shape our channel so uh, thank you Nick and we wish him all the best and hopefully we'll see Nick elsewhere anyway we might see him pop in anyway um, apart from that uh, I I think that's it. Um, good to drop by, says Kevin. Cheers, lads. Looking forward to flying with you again. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, and Kevin, are you are, are you going to come to the Manchester meeting uh, this year? I think we were just talking about it earlier. Not sure if that's been uh, kind of arranged or planned yet, but um, that would be really good to see everybody. Uh, liveries will be updated. Oh, sorry. Yes, Dark. I, I did forget about that. So Dark is actually doing an overhaul of all of the liveries um, so which is really exciting um, and i'm sure dark will let everybody know in the discord uh, when those liveries are ready so you there may be some to download but you might want to hold off uh, on the liveries until the uh, the updates are out um, so do you watch the discord for that uh, apart from that have a fantastic weekend guys wish you all the best um, big kiss from me and um yeah we'll we'll see you We'll see you next time right here on Positive Rate. Um, and don't forget, Dark is going to be on tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, uh, 8 p.m. London time. So if you want to fly with him uh, going from Skipple to Warsaw, please, please uh, join us again uh, as Dark Fury takes over the reins of presenting. Um, and he'll be doing the PMDG 738. Until then, take care, guys. We'll see you soon.